This is a short video on what a topology on a set X is. So a topology on a set X. And so uh, what it is, is it is a collection of subsets that we are going to describe as open. Collection of subsets that are described as open. And I'll put open in quotes here because um, open's a really vague thing. So what does this open mean here? So there are three rules on like what it means for sets to be open. And so the three rules are, so i.e. our collection satisfies these three rules say, uh, the first rule that we'll look at um, is, maybe I should also give some things names here. So a collection of subsets of X, but then in particular, maybe we'll use like fancy T. So fancy T of X. Okay, so then now let me jump back into this. It satisfies these three rules. So the first thing is that the empty set and the whole set itself need to be things that are in T. They need to be part of our collection of subsets of X that we'll describe as open. So in other words, the empty set and X are open. Uh, the second thing that we need to have happen is that uh, if you have um, two things that are in your, your uh, in T in your collection here, so if U and V are both in T, then their intersection has to be in T also. And so what does that say? That says that the intersection of two opens is open. So the intersection of two opens is still open. And then the third thing I need to have happen is if, um, let's say, uh, lambda is some index set, maybe it's the natural numbers, maybe it's like one through five, it can be infinite, it can be finite. So is some index set, uh, and let's say that u sub, let's say <laughs> u alpha is in t for all alpha and lambda. So this is getting confusing in a hurry. What am I saying here? Let's say that I've just got a whole bunch of things that are in T. That's all I'm trying to say in a nutshell. Maybe there's five sets U alpha and T, like U1 through U5, or maybe there's infinitely many of these sets U and T. The point is, I should be able to put each of these U's together in some way, such as a union, and that should still land in T. So then, uh, I'll write it this way. The union over all, say, alpha and lambda, of u alpha, the union of all those should also be an element of our uh, collection of subsets. So in other words, i.e. union, maybe also to emphasize this, any union, let's try to emphasize that a little bit better, about any union of opens is open. So it might be good to actually try to, uh, let's put a concrete set down and try to talk about um, what would be a topology on that particular set. And so a good set maybe is, for example here, let's say X is just A, B, and C. That's all I'm doing on this set, which is three elements here. Notice too, if you watch some videos about a metric, I talked about distances and stuff like that. We're not talking about anything about metrics or anything about distances, so forget about that for right now far as this topology is concerned. So here's my set X. So what is a topology again? It is a collection of subsets. And so you're thinking maybe the power set. Maybe for this thing too, um, we could write this down. The power set of X, I'll write it that way with that fancy notation. Remember, if I have three elements, your power set should have eight things. So the power set would be what are all the possible subsets? So like, well, A, B, and C. So these sets that just have each individual element, those are called singletons, if you've never heard that before. But then what else could I do? I could make sets that have two at a time, so A, B, uh, B, C, and A, C. And then I could also take all three at a time, which would just be X itself, so I'll just write that as X. And then of course I could take none of them, and that would be the empty set. And so I've got these eight things that are in the power set here. It's a little bit sloppy set notation, but what's a topology? A topology is us, just picking out a handful of these at a time with these three rules in mind that I have to pick X in the empty set, so I happen to have circled those, 
but then I have to satisfy part B and part C. Where what am I saying to you? If I pick any two things that I want to put in T, I need to make sure that their intersection also lands in T. And so uh, let's see, <laughs> does that happen with the ones that I actually picked here? So let's try something like, let's say T. So we said from part A, T has to have X in the empty set. So again, that's me picking these two. But then let's say I want to put some more interesting stuff in there. Let's say that, uh, okay, let's say that I want to put A in there just for fun. That sounds great. And so is that enough to be a topology? Maybe I want to put one more interesting thing in there. Let's say um, A, C. I'll put that in there and I'll stop. That's enough fun for right now. So what's the point of this? I want to look and see, does this set T, this is just a subset of the power set. I hope you agree with that. And uh, does this set T that I've written down satisfy requirements A, B, and C in order to say that this is a topology? And so for the first one, yes, I've got X in the empty set. They are right here. Pretty cool. Uh, what else? Now I got to check intersections. So um, the intersection of X with anything is just going to be the thing. So like X in the empty set would be empty. X and A would just be A. And then X and AC would just be AC. So that's fine. Those are all in there. Similarly, the intersection of the empty set with anything would just be the empty set. So really the only interesting one you got to think about is what's the intersection of these two. And it should just be A, which is a member of T. So letter B is satisfied. This set T has that property B. The last thing that we'll look at is, uh, is the union of anything out of here still in T. And so the same kind of thing, the union of X with any of these guys will just be X it's got again. The union of the empty set with any of these things will just be, what are you unioning with? So in other words, empty set union AC will just be AC and you're still in there. So again, this is like the only one that's interesting to think about. And when you take the union of those two things, you just get AC, which more importantly, is still just a member of T. So we satisfy A, B, and C here. So this is a topology. Topology on X. So what does that mean again? What am I saying to you? I'm saying to you that I'm going to describe the things in T as open sets. So this says, you could say, you know, X, empty set, A, AC, R, open. It's all we're saying. So open again, it's this vague, weird term, but what does it mean? That just means that the sets in your collection that you're calling open, they should just satisfy these three properties here. And we just verified that that is the case. Um, Maybe it would be good to look at uh, one more, maybe two more quick examples. So another one, let's keep the same set. So X is equal to uh, A, B, and C. Um, in this case, again, we wrote down the power set before. It had eight things in it. What if I just took the empty set and the whole set? That in some ways is kind of like, if you're thinking about the requirements to be a topology, that's like minimal, right? These are the minimum requirements to be a topology that you have this in here. I mean, what do I mean by that? We've got to have all three, but I mean that this would be the minimum requirement that will satisfy all three. Because if you think about it, what do you get when you intersect these two? Well, you just get the empty set when you intersect, and that's in T. And then what do you get when you union these two? Well, you just get the whole set itself, which is also in T. So the point is that this satisfies A, B, three, A, B, and C. And so this T is another topology. This one gets a name, it's special. So there's nothing special about X being ABC. You could do this no matter what X was. You could always take the topology that just consists of the empty set and the whole set itself. This is called the trivial topology. Trivial topology. Right, what am I trying to emphasize? I'm saying to you that in this case, the only two things that we call open are the empty set and the set X itself. So in this case, we would say um, only empty set and X are open. So topology is just an agreement that we have on what we are going to call open. And you see that, well, there are different things that we could call open depending on, uh, um, you know, what are the sets that you take? So that's an example. And then uh, we'll do one more. So let's say again, X is one, two, three. What if I just took the topology to be equal to the entire power set of X? And so what is that gonna be? Does that satisfy A, B, and C? And so if we go look through, well, if I take the whole power set of X, I've already written it down here. 
Uh, in that case, sure, I get A. What was A? What am I referring to? That the empty set and the whole set are in there. There it is. Cool. Um, what else? If you take the intersection of any two sets you pick at a time, so like let's say A and B, that would be the empty set. Well, that's still in there. Or maybe I'll do one more. Um, let's say C and BC. Yes, you just get C, which hello, it's in there. So my point is that yes, one way to say this is it's, it's closed under intersections, if you want to say. Um, and then the last thing, if you take the union of any two things in here, let's say AB and BC, just to pick pick two, or, or really it should hold for any amount of unions you take. But the point though, if you put these together, you just get the whole set back, in which case, yeah, you're still in the power set. So when you're doing these operations of intersecting two things at a time, or taking a union of as many things as you want at a time, you never leave the power set. In other words, all those things, they still land in T. So that's why T, if the T is the whole power set, this is also okay, it defines a topology. So it is a topology on X. So just like you can put different distances on a particular set, it's also possible to think about different topologies on a set. And so these are some common ones uh, for this case. And like if you take the whole power set, this one gets a name. This is called uh, the discrete topology. So again, that's when your topology just consists of the entire power set. In some sense, that's like as big as it could possibly be, if you think about it. 